वेलकम बैक टू टेन स्लेड इनफो एस वी ऑल नो दैट द एरो इंडिया टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्सीबिशन इज गोइंग ऑन इन अ फुल स्विंग इन बैंगलोर फ्रॉम फेब्रवरी थर्टीन दिस वीडियो विल शेयर वाइटल अपडेट्स ऑन वॉट हैपन ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट थ्री डेज एट द एयर शो आई विल बी लिस्टिंग डाउन द अपडेट्स वन बाई वन इन अ शॉर्ट मैनर द फर्स्ट अपडेट टू बी मैंशन श्योर इज द प्रेसेंस ऑफ द लॉकेट मार्टिन एफ थर्टी फाइव स्टेल्थ फाइटर एट द एक्सीबिशन पेविलियन विच इज अ वेरी रेयर थिंग टू हैपन दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम द एफ थर्टी फाइव हैज बीन डिस्प्लेड ड्यूरिंग एन एक्सीबिशन इन इंडिया इवन तो इंडिया विल नॉट बी प्रोक्योरिंग दीज फाइटर्स एंड देर इज वेरी लेस और जीरो प्रॉबिलिटी फॉर द इंडियन नेवी और फॉर द इंडियन एयरफोर्स टू प्रोक्योर दीज कॉस्टली फाइटर्स the display of such powerful fighters in aero india 2023 show shows the trust of the united states in india's friendship and the requirement of their partnership in asia region another vital reason for showcasing the two f35 fighter projects the growing defense ties between india and the united states and that too during the russia ukraine conflict the united states is taking all possible steps to move india away from russia and this is one more example if you see more details about the two f35 fighters which have been parked in bangalore the f35a joint strike fighter has come all the way from hill air force base utah and the f35a lightning to fighter has come all the way from eelson air force base in alaska in addition to the f35 even the f16 fighting falcon duo will conduct daily aerial demonstration from february 13 to february 17 showcasing its capability not only that on static display the boeing fa18e and the boeing fa18f super hornet which are multi role fighters are also being showcased Another update relevant to the United States participation during the Aero India 2023 is the General Electric Marine and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited signing a memorandum of understanding to work along and to explore the expansion of the manufacturing capabilities to include assembly, inspection and testing of the LM2500 marine gas turbines. The General Electric LM2500 marine gas turbines have been installed on various Indian Navy warships like INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, Nilgiri class frigates, Shivalik class frigates to name a few. The main aim to sign this memorandum of understanding is to explore allowing the HAL to perform assembly, inspection and testing of the General Electric's LM2500 marine gas turbines for use in an indigenous 4 megawatt gas turbine generator for possible installation aboard future Indian naval vessels so these were the two updates relevant to the united states which i thought of sharing through this particular video thanks for watching stay tuned to tensley info for more defense and aviation related updates thank you